Hey, hi, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I forgot to do the intro while I filmed this video because I was unprepared and the whole thing was kind of sudden. So I'll be adding to whatever I didn't express fully in this video. But anywho, I hope you enjoy this Ichiri Adventure 1.5 trademark. I'm calling this 1.5 because I feel like it's not good enough to end a whole number, you know. And if you're new here, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you. Very long intro, over. I can take it from here. So, um, this is... It's an impromptu type of thing because I wasn't expecting to film my next E3 adventures so suddenly but um So yes, this is the second episode in my series called E3 adventures where I go around uh, Visiting various eating establishments and review them the pricing the food the atmosphere if it's worth the trip there So in this episode 1.5 of E3 adventures I decided to try out Muftis with my good friend Fahad. No epic friend intro this time, sorry Now I've been passing by the street the Muftis food truck is on uh, for a while now and I was really curious about their novelty menu item, the Wache Wrap, which is essentially a burrito but Ghanaian style. I didn't really get anything else on the menu, which defeats the purpose of Itri Adventures because I'm supposed to explore the culinary wonders this establishment has to offer. But I digress. There's Mofti's, we'll see what it's we'll see what they have and if you should come here. It's a food truck, so it's not an actual like building with seats and stuff, so um oh, it's like they have Seating places there, but it's not very, you know. Right. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So. Right. So uh, we just ordered our food. Uh, I got. I think it's, I guess it's their specialty, um, uh, I forgot the name, uh, Wache is something, Avocado something. Avocado wrappers, and then I got um, the Mufti special burger, it's just yeah. like a burger with added stuff. So, so basically we got their signature burgers, burgers and, and stuff. Wrap. They have salads and other things like smoothies, coffee, drinks, so pretty much somewhere you can come and buy a snack or a light lunch, it's not something heavy. Anymore. Although I will say that looking at the prices, I don't, okay, well we have to determine that if it's worth the pricing because um, yeah. Yours what? was like 45. What you got? You got the Mufti special with burger chips. with chips and that's 50. 50, yeah. Which, if you ask me, is outrageous. But and you know, the burger itself is 40 and the chips are 10. Oh. If the chips are 10 by themselves, then I guess that's okay. Uh, we have to look at the uh, the, 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 the amount of chips. Yeah, you get so yeah. once it's here, we'll analyze the yeah. thing. Uh, also, you might recognize this place in uh, King Promises. Is it a recent video? Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty recent. Yeah. You might recognize the, the food truck in one of his videos. I'll insert a clip here. Yeah. I remember I used to call you back then in the late night. So used to be a good I don't think they can copyright claim me because he's not that big. <laughs> no shade, but <laughs> Bro, that's shade. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, the guy. But we'll see. Ooh. Finish. Hassan. Hassan. <laughs> uh, so the food just came in and. This is what we're dealing with. I don't know if you can tell how small the fries are, but they are in fact quite small. But the ketchup is packaged nicely, though. Well, that's enough. Oh well, yeah. So let's time to pull out Nasty. of the bag. So this is um the beggar. It's okay. But you know, I'll be honest. Um, if you go to Burger King, it's not much of a better. This might be a better option because Burger King costs just as much i don't know what it's like outside but beggar king in ghana is ass prices yeah. high portions small. small exactly uh Ooh, but this is decent looking show the camera uh, it's, it's, uh, let me remove it from yeah. the packaging um yeah beggar king is just not a great i like big and i cannot lie you other uh and let me show you my Bro, the box is deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> the box is deceiving as hell. This is like chips where it's like 60% and 40%. This is a scam. This is a scam. Do you see this? Yes. Do you see, do you see this? <laughs> oh, hey, man. people. Oh, man. 40 Ghana. Wait, how much is this, bro? I think there's five. Okay, that's five. So, this is uh, this is a, a wache with avocado wrap. Yeah, yeah. So... This is what it looks like. I'm wondering if they added shit up. I'm sure they did because like watching. Mm. And is that egg? Yeah. Fried egg. Okay. okay, so let's have you tried already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
I am very disappointed by the size, but I guess it's the taste that matters. Well, this burger is quite heavy, so I have to wait and see. So, three, two, two one. It's very juicy. Mm -hmm. Although, every ingredient is nice, but the bread is a bit stale. Here are my thoughts. It's an interesting concept, and it makes perfect sense because, like, um, beans. Yeah, and burrito, beans belong in a burrito, but it's definitely a unique something. So yeah, my verdict is, if you are watching Lava, then I would definitely suggest guessing this, because it's a new experience, it's trying watch it in a new way. Otherwise, it's not, it's not the to write home about. Yeah. It's just a watch, watch it wrapped in it. The burger is okay, it's decent. Compared to the other burgers I've eaten in Ghana, it's quite up there, but the bread, like I said, is still, and uh, it's not... I don't know if you expected something from maybe a 40 CD burger, it's it's not as big as you think it would be, but it's okay. Alright, so we done had our food. All in all, I'll say that it's a unique experience. We are open to trying um <clears throat> new food. Yeah. Specifically a watchy based sandwich, then uh, I would suggest trying it out. It's 35 CDs. It's quite filling, surprisingly. Uh, there's um, watchy, kiliwili. Should I say kiliwili or plantain? Plantain, plantain. fried egg, uh, chicken, and avocado in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it makes for like a compact and yet filling meal. Well, the burger is like, I don't know. I should I shouldn't say it's like a, the baddest burger I've had in Ghana, but it's it's, it's average. Like it's not up there with the best burgers I've eaten. And I'm I'm speaking of the Ghanaian burgers, you know. So generally speaking, if you want a nice burger, you can come here. And the chips are decent too, they're very nice and everything, but it's not something that I guess I'll say that if you really want the best burger in Ghana, you should come to know it's, it's good, it's good. You'll get like a decent experience, not the best. Although the place like it's aesthetically pleasing, they have like this vintage 70s theme going on with the Truck trunk. 70s or 60s? Let's just say a vintage feel. Yeah, it's not good. In conclusion, Mufti's is a great store. Even though the two items we got on their menu weren't the absolute best, there's still a whole lot of options to choose from. It's located right in front of X Men at East Ligon, and I would definitely recommend Mufti's as a place to get some food and chill with friends, you know? And so this brings me to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and discovered a new e tree. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> If you're patient enough to make it to this point, thank you and congratulations for sticking to the very end. Here's a little something -sum for you.